guys, it's me, 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 Miss Michelle Z. Welcome to my channel. So for today, we're going to make a pocket folder tutorial. So now, we're having this three set of cardstock. It's so cute. It's so easy to make. As you can see, we have these pockets inside. So I made three of this. So it's a three set in one packet folder. <laughs> so there are a lot of pockets inside as you can see for you to have more spaces to fill in so now we're getting this time paper pack it's a card sock it's a 12 by 12 paper pack weighing 160 gsm so we have to choose three set of cardstock that we're going to use for our pocket folder tutorial so let's see I'm feeling that I wanted to have a variation of green today so let's pick three sets so this is oral, cute, and pretty. <laughs> yeah. So now we have to get this coring board. But if you don't have, you just have to look for a flat surface where you can fold correctly your paper or cardstock. So now we have this scoring board and we have to score our paper into half. So since this is a 12 by 12 paper pack, we have to score it in the middle, which is six inch so you have to be careful on scoring it because the first time that i do this <laughs> i made a scratch or a mistake that i regret it <laughs> for my whole life so after you fold after you scored it and fold it into half you have to place it over and try scoring it in the fourth inch because that would make our folding line so that we we'll have our pockets inside. That's it. So you have to score it in the fourth inch. You have to use you can use your ruler or the scoring board itself. There you go. You have to score it. That that's the mistake I made. <laughs> so you have to fold it like that. And the other side also. Then you have to make an angle cut to the bottom part. So let's get our scissors and cut it with a short or like a light angle cut. <laughs> there you go. I pull it inside. Then that's it. So we have our first set of pocket folder. The next thing that we have to do is to do the same thing for the rest of the cardstock. So now we're done with the cutting and scoring. Let's remove this scoring board for a while. And get the three cardstocks and try to put a glue or a double-sided tape on the pocket side of the folder. So here's it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you have to put the double-sided tape on those parts. Make sure that you will not get enough space of each pocket because that would less the spaces you can fill in so there you go you have to put it and on the other side also you can use glue but for me double-sided tape is less messy and it's just easy to put in And there would be no time for you to let it dry because it's just a regular tape. So we're just putting on the other side. And as you can see, you have to get rid of it. And make sure that you would place it correctly. You can use your bone folder to flatten the side where you put your tape and make it a strong hold. For each pocket so we're doing the same thing for the rest of the cardstock just enjoy the process guys the most important thing in life is to enjoy each process so now we're going to our third cardstock 
and there you go we have now our three sets of card stocks so the next thing that we have to do is to make a spine so we need to have a two inch spine so we just have to make sure that this has the correct measurement of it and we just have to fold it into half you have to score it in the middle which is the first inch and try to pattern it with your pocket folder so that you can have the right size of it before cutting it directly so the next thing that we have to do is to get your cardstock and make sure it is on the right part everything is on the right part like every pocket should be on the down part before putting your spine together so before putting it all together you have to make a yeah <laughs> you have to put a double-sided tape on those sides so that you can put the other cardstock together so you have to be careful guys on putting it together you have to make it align so that it will not be a um, waste of time or a mistake to do it so you have to do it to the other side of it and make sure that you don't close everything so this is now our final output this is our pocket folder so if you enjoy watching this video give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel Comment down below any pocket folder ideas that you want me to make and I will appreciate doing it. So that's it. Have a nice day guys. Bye!